You know, at first this was supposed to be a review on South Park Stick of Truth, but apparently everybody and their grandmother already has a copy of it. I just paid 64 bucks plus tax to write about something that I can't write about. There has to be something in here that I can reveal. Just gotta move a couple of these bags of cash that I stole. <clears throat> Rocksmith? No. Um, Far Cry 3? Uh, way too late. Hmm. Wait a minute. Bags of stolen cash? That's it! Kung Fu Rider for the PlayStation Move sucks. Screw it. Payday 2 it is. Ah yes, Payday 2. The first person online co-op shooter developed by Overkill and Starbreeze Studios. In Payday 2, you play one of four career criminals pulling off heists and various crimes within Washington, D.C. And that's it. There is virtually no story for this game. No cutscenes, no character growth. In all honesty, I should hate this game, but I don't. What is it that makes this game exempt? Well, remember when I mentioned how GTA 5 completely ruined the heist missions? Payday 2 shows you how it's done. All the tension that comes from doing a mission in stealth to when it goes tits up and turns into a firefight, you're on your seat. Payday 2 has RPG mechanics where you can level up and put skill points into four possible playstyles. The Mastermind, Pistols, Intimidation, and Health. The Enforcer, Shotguns, Death, and Ammunition. The Technician, Drilling Safe, Setting Turrets, Planting Mines. And the Ghost, Stealth. Nothing but stealth. Absolute total darkness. Just nothing. I found it enjoyable being able to spread out my points to create a character who is an expert in stealth, but can really do damage when things go awry. That being said, it'll be difficult to enjoy the game until you actually get those points and level up. Payday 2 is a game that you need to play online. The NPCs are just bullet sponges that can't even move loot bags, and in a mission where you need to secure six of them, you need people that can carry before the cops swarm. Most of the missions primarily become firefights where you have to work together as a team, but sometimes you'll have a brilliant crew who can pull off a mission without tripping the alarm. Despite the praise, there are a lot of problems that really prevent Payday 2 from shining. First off, the graphics are laughably outdated. I normally don't care about this, but come on guys, it's 2014. Every once in a blue moon, the audio might cut out completely. You'll get trapped in an invisible wall, and sometimes you'll pass right through the map itself only to fall back into it. Don't think too much about that last sentence, your head will literally explode. The biggest problem, well, disappointment with Payday 2, is that the console versions are not even remotely close to their PC counterpart. Much like Team Fortress 2, the PC version is filled with updates, maps, weapons, and downloadable content that are not currently available for the console versions. I just got lucky that the PS3 version at least has a minor update that clocks in at over 4,000 megabytes. The 360 version doesn't even have that update yet. And in all honesty, I'm waiting to pay for the free PC updates if they become available for the consoles. But until then, I guess we play the waiting game. In short, Payday 2 has a relatively niche audience. If you're going to get it, I strongly recommend the PC version. That being said, it's only $29.99, and I really like this game. Either way, folks, I'm Sonic MTD, and it's time to get to work. Let's begin the operation. Mm -hmm.